Hello, second graders. Welcome to day five, the last day of coding for this week. Um, today is going to be a little bit different. Rather than um, just controlling a character throughout the stage, today you're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to finish all of the lesson 12 activities. That's numbers one through nine. Now, I just want to go over a couple of things because this is very different for you. So you're going to do the play lab where you're gonna kind of create a story. In other words, you're gonna create a game. Every game has a story, right? There's a background, the characters have to do something. It is a story. So watch this video, and then you're gonna finish all of the other activities. Now your first activity is free play. And take your time with this, there's no rush. This is where you, you get to control everything. You can set a background. You can decide how the character is gonna move what the character is going to say, what the character's mood is, okay? Um, this sets the character's size, okay? When you press the up arrow, what happens? When you press the right arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow on your keyboard, you can control which characters move, okay? So I'm gonna do a couple of things here. I'm just gonna change the background and I'm gonna set it as a nice day. Watch this. Okay, now they're in a totally different spot. And I'm going to control, now these green blocks, these are called function blocks. Okay, you can see there's three of them here. So this one controls when characters move. So let's say I want to control, uh, I don't know, the robot. So when I press that up arrow, I want the robot to move up. When I press the down arrow, I want the robot to move down, okay? And these blocks don't have to be connected to anything. They're function blocks. They only occur, or event blocks, they only happen when I press that arrow key on my keyboard. So they could be separate over here. So watch this. So I'll click run. And now I'm gonna use my, my keyboard keys. Actually, I'll use the ones on the, on the screen here so you could see. So when I press the up arrow now, I could control the robot. I press the down arrow, I could control the robot. If I wanted the robot to go right or left, I would have to code that. I would have to add two more blocks. I would add the left and the right arrows, and then I'd have to tell the computer what to do when I press them. I want the robot to move right. And I want the robot over here Move that over so you can see it to move left when I press that left key. Okay, so now with all these four blocks, I can completely control the robot. So here's left, right, up, down. And I don't have to use these arrows here. I could use the arrows on my keyboard also. Okay. Um, see, I'm using the arrows on my keyboard right now. I can control the character, okay? And if you want to control two characters, um, that's possible too. Not the way this game is set up right now, but you could use A, S, D, and, and F on your keyboard to control a different character. Um, just know you can do that. You can't do it right now because they don't give you that option, but in, in the future, you'll be able to do that, okay? Um, let's say I want to set the mood of a character or I want the character to say something. I can put that there, so watch this. And then I can move, okay? If, now these two blocks, this is when two characters um, come near each other. And I can decide which two characters, and then let's say I want them to both speak when they get near each other. Um, let's see, I'll do this. I'll use the robot as one of them. Okay, so when the, whatever character this is, <laughs> the ninja gets near the robot, they'll both say hi there. And you can, I can even change this if I want to. So let's watch. And you can see the robot spoke after the ninja because I had that block after this one. So there's a lot of different options here. There's a couple others I haven't gone over. 
play around with this, see what you can make happen, just get used to the play lab. Now, as you progress through this, one mistake that a lot of my friends make sometimes when they first start coding on this is they just start grabbing blocks and doing stuff. You can't do that. Make sure you're reading the directions at the top here. They take you through step by step to learn how to use certain blocks. So make sure you read the directions. Okay. So like, for example, here it says, Have Daisy the dragon say something when you click run. Okay. So to say something, I really only need this one. And then you can decide what you want Daisy to say. There's a lot of choices. Okay. All right. So make sure you read the directions. Okay. By the time you get to the end, they give you some code for a whole game. My advice here is to run it and see what you can already do. And then they're asking you to use your imagination. What else can you do to make this game more fun? So with all these, make sure you follow the directions. You have a lot of code here that you can really uh, play around with. So have fun with it. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. We'll have some new activities for you all next week. Enjoy.